Hi, I'm Jackie McDonald, coordinator of the Academic Upgrading Program at Conestoga College Guelph Campus. The Guelph Campus is located at 460 460 Speedvale Ave West in Guelph. So the mission and value statements for the college in general are about providing accessibility to meet the changing needs of individuals wanting to take college programs, meeting the needs of um, businesses in the area in terms of filling employment positions. Um, so with upgrading, our focus is to meet those changing needs of people to create pathways into employment, apprenticeship, as well as college programs. So academic upgrading has a few different sort of pathways that we try to help serve people. So the major one that we see people and services that we offer are is academic upgrading for college preparation. So people who don't have their high school courses or don't have high enough grades, they can come to us to take their English, their math, um, their biology, chemistry, they can upgrade their computer courses and their computer skills, but also if they're unsure of what pathway they want to go in terms of career, apprenticeship, um, what college program they want, we have um, a strategies for success course that helps with um, self-esteem, confidence building, career decision and exploration, as well as self-exploration. We also do GED preparation. Um, so those who don't have their OSSD or a Canadian equivalent can study to prepare for the GED test. That opens up opportunities to get to college, but it's not necessary to go to college, but it also um, opens up opportunities for apprenticeship. We offer um, some com basic computer courses as well. In academic upgrading, we offer two delivery styles at the Guelph campus. One um, delivery style is called self-directed, self-paced learning. So for the English course, also called communications, and the math courses, we do a self-paced learning where the student will learn from booklets and some online video materials and go at their own speed through those materials. But in class, during class time, there's opportunities for one-on-one -on -one help, for testing, for practice tests and follow up with the teacher. Then from home, the student's expected to work independently on their own through the booklets. The other format that we offer classes is through teacher-led, which has a start date and it has an end date. So some classes are seven weeks long, um, some are 15 weeks long, and those tend to be either, tend to be six hours of class time per week. With self-directed, it's six hours of class time per week as well, but with self-directed, different people will take different amounts of time to finish their course. Some may finish it in four months, some may finish it in six months. It just depends on the speed at which that person wants to move through and can move through the courses. So there's flexibility in start times throughout the year. As for deliveries, we offer daytime classes and some courses have evening classes. The nice thing about academic upgrading is it's a free program because it's sponsored by the government. In terms of coming through the door, the first step is doing an academic upgrading assessment and that would be booked with us in many ways. So information can be found by going on the, and really Googling academic upgrading Conestoga College. From there, you can request more information by filling out some very general information about yourself and we'll email you back. You can book an assessment online and we'll get in contact with you to confirm all those arrangements. Or you can drop in or email us and we can book online or over the phone or in person. Once you come in to do the assessment, the type of assessment that you take only depends on what your interests are. So after that assessment's done and the person's assessment is scored, we want to see if the person is suitable to be successful in our either self-directed or teacher-led class. Uh, so those who are successful and meet our admission requirements, they would next come and take a new student orientation. Once that orientation is done, we would start a specific start date. Most people in Guelph, there is room in programs to start almost the next week. So from the time that you do an assessment, have an orientation and start classes. Usually it's about a two week process. Once you're in the program, it's a matter of if you can show up and show progress, you can continue to stay into the program until you've successfully completed it. Um, some people need to leave and then come back to finish. 
So there's lots of opportunities and lots of pathways for people to finish depending on their needs and their lifestyles. So typically we tend to get email referrals with the person's information and a little bit of background on what they need. Another way that we get referrals is just sort of a one-on-one -on -one phone call uh, by phoning me and then we have a discussion about what they need and then having some paperwork followed with that just so we can show the government that we are doing that service coordination that they love to see and that they ask for. In terms of what we need for referral, it's nice to get a little bit of background on the individual, so we need the individual's name, uh, at least their two points of contact, phone number, as well as email is appreciated, and then information about what their goal is. It's really helpful if they have a goal because from there it can open up the conversation about what upgrading is needed. Um, we can start discussing timeline for that in terms of upgrading because that all depends on how much is needed and then also we can start to talk about after upgrading what the next steps may be. Our upgrading program in adult education is really learner centered. So if someone is just taking one course, let's say like English four to six months, depending on how quickly they're trying to work through individually on their own as well as their work in the classroom. But if they're taking two courses, I'd say on average, we're open from September to the end of June every year. We're closed in the summertime. So two people are taking two courses. They will typically stay with us on average of about 10 months. Some people, if they're working full time and parenting as well, they may take two full years to do it. But the nice thing about self-directed is you have that flexibility. Um, on average, I'd say a year. But if people need four courses to get into their programs, then sometimes two years is, can happen as well. The nice thing is we have that flexibility of daytime and evening to try to suit a person's needs and schedule.